In this video I'm going to show how to make a mechanical inverter that turns DC into AC and steps it up to 700 volts. A typical inverter circuit can get pretty complicated, but if you just need AC and you're not that worried about the exact frequency, it can be done with a simple DC motor. The inverter I built produces a peak voltage of about 60 to 70 volts at 700 hertz without any load on the output. The whole device is essentially just an alternator that's being cranked by a DC motor to turn the DC voltage from a battery or capacitor bank into AC. Once I get AC voltage out of the stator coils, I can use a capacitive multiplier to step the voltage up even higher. In this device, I managed to reach 700 volts with a little over 3 volts of input. The output voltage from the multiplier is DC, so I can charge some capacitors from it and get a decent sized spark. These capacitors are much bigger than the ones in the multiplier circuit. The rotor will house an even number of magnets with alternating polarity. The stator coils use a number 6 steel screw as a core and have about 1300 turns of 32 gauge wire. There's a total of 16 coils on the stator. The course will screw into this ring, and a screw at the bottom will tighten it to a mounting rail that it can slide back and forth on. I got everything connected and powered up the inverter, but my output voltage was a lot lower than I was expecting, just a little over 6 volts. I compared that result to the output of a single coil, which gave over 4 volts just by itself. Looks like the way I wired my stator coils together was based on some faulty assumptions. I connected the coils together in series by going from the output end of one to the input end of another, assuming they'd be at opposite polarity and all their voltages would just add together. As it turned out, in this arrangement the coils actually cancel each other's voltages out and theoretically output zero volts. The only reason I saw any output at all was just because of the fact that the coils weren't exactly the same. The rotor magnets are arranged with alternating polarity. This means as they move, if one coil has a positive time rate of change magnetic field, its neighbors have a negative time rate of change. This results in two sets of coils that are 180 degrees out of phase with each other. We'll call them phase A and phase B. If you add these together, the result is zero volts. Here I've connected the channels of my scope to a coil and its neighbor at the same time, and as you can see, they're on exact opposite phases, so connecting them in series would cancel them out. Luckily the solution is very simple. One set of coils just gets flipped around, then they can all be connected in series and achieve maximum voltage. I rewired my stator and cleaned it up to try again. This time it worked as planned, and I got more than 70 volts from the output. Now that I had AC, I wanted to try and increase the voltage even more, so I connected the inverter output to a capacitive voltage doubler. I had to set my scope probe to divide by 10 for this voltage. The doubler worked perfectly, so I turned it into a capacitive multiplier with 16 stages. The high voltage would be coming out this end, and the low side would be on this end.
The whole thing was pretty inefficient, and it took a long time to charge this 10 microfarad cat bank, but it got there eventually. This was a really interesting project to build, but if you really want to get high voltage from a small DC source like AA's, I'd suggest just taking the charging circuit out of an electric fly swatter. 